Welcome to the quick video tutorial on the world weather component. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the world weather to create a 7 day forecast for any city in the world. And it does give you a lot of flexibility. You can set daily max and low for the weather, humidity values. You can pick from three sets of icons, and all this is powered by scenes so you can create any style you'd like. So with that, let's begin. And you can see that we have a pretty simple demo campaign, just one channel and one screen division. Next, I'll switch to the scene editor. Click on a plus sign to add a new scene. Go to name this just uh, test weather. And switch over here to components. And go ahead and filter by JSON, and we have a JSON item. But before I do that, before I drag over the JSON item, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the background of the scene to select the initial scene. And over here, I'm gonna go over here to the properties, go ahead and make a little more room here. And from the drop down for the MIME type, I'm gonna go ahead and select World Weather. This means that any JSON item that I'm gonna drag and drop over to the scene is automatically gonna be uh, weather aware and we'll be able to configure it as a weather item. Go ahead and drag and drop a few JSON items. And we'll just select the first one and set it as the icon. Select this guy. Go ahead and set the minimum temperature and the max temperature. Let's go ahead and change just the colors and also the font size. And switch over here back to our timeline. We'll drag and drop the test weather directly onto the free channel. Double click to load up its properties. Over here under slideshow, let's go ahead and take this off since we don't want to really flip through anything. So take that off and also the random, don't need any of that. Otherwise, it's just going to try and flip through the items and we'll have this quick flickering. So make sure you take that off. Go to weather, type in the zip code, enter. Or we can also type in city, or maybe a different city. And it works as expected. You can also change the icon style so you can set the colors, black and white. So that was really easy and really allows us to create a 7 day forecast for any city in the world. You can also take advantage of some of our pre-made world weather scenes. And so to do that, you just go to the library, select global scenes. So we can see right here that if we scroll down to weather, then we'll go down even further and select world weather for enterprise users. You can see that we have some really nice scenes that we created for you. and you can import any one of them. So we'll just select the first one and click OK to import it. You can see that it was imported and of course you can modify anything here. You can go ahead and zoom out a little bit so we can see more of this. So anything here is editable. If you want to change the color, the background, the position, go to the timeline, delete this guy. Select the weather seven days, drag and drop that now. Double click to load up its properties. Again, take the slideshow node off and random for the weather. Type in a zip code. Maybe change to a white. So I did go ahead and enlarge the screen a little bit so you can see more of the screen. And so right now we can see that we have a nice seven day forecast. I can go ahead and bring it up a little bit. You can see the city name, the weather, max low, etc. Now, if you're not familiar with scenes, I do recommend you watch the video tutorial for that, as you can really create this at any size to fit any type of screen division. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching.